Hey there, Michael, just doing a follow-up of the Mikey battery group after my weekend. Um, I did a wedding on the weekend and all went um, quite well, um, pretty well. It's a little bit different. I usually will use a DSLR to shoot weddings, but um, I chose to give the Fuji a run. Um, I do have a lot of Fuji gear and I'm a bit hesitant because I'm not so confident with the auto focusing in low light or how to um, switch quickly between auto focus modes I mean I know you can set up buttons and things but because it's not um, probably my principal camera I don't have that muscle memory happening um, so fluidly um, as such you know like I like for instance if I have face detect on the camera often it will be picking the wrong face and the Fuji X-T2 um, there's, I don't think there's a way of um, changing face within the scene, which is a real problem if you're focusing on the wrong face. <laughs> so yeah, that's um, that's an issue. I found um, the the way around that with the Sony cameras was to use um, you you can prioritize a face. You can put a face into the memory of the Sony cameras and actually record that. That, that that face will have priority of focus, which is a really cool feature. But um, anyway, back to the grip. The grip was um, really good. I found it a, a good size, good to use. Normally, I don't like grips, like I told you before. Um, but this grip, I really like. Um, doesn't add a lot of weight or, um, I don't know, like when you add a, a grip to a full frame, there's a DSLR, DSLR. Sorry, I'm a bit tired. <laughs> when you add a grip to one of those DSLR cameras, it tends to be quite a huge package that you're suddenly lugging around. You know, probably, probably the camera will start to weigh over a kilo, um, maybe, yeah, probably 1,100 grams over a kilo. So um, the Fuji, on the other hand, with the grip is, uh, I haven't weighed it, uh, to be honest. But I would say it's probably around 700 grams with two batteries, probably less. And um, it's not, you know, too heavy. Um, yeah. So anyway, the grip works really well. I didn't have any issues with um, problems like um, buttons not working or losing contact or coming loose or wobbly or anything. It's still in great shape even after, you know, uh, nearly a 12 hour wedding. And, um, yeah, you know, I was shooting a variety of photos and video. Um, one question that I did have um, a couple of days ago, which is pretty important, and um, it's whether when you're running two batteries, I was running two batteries in the grip. I didn't have three batteries in the camera. You can put one in the body and two in the grip, but I was running just two batteries in the grip. Now... When you're filming video and a battery runs out and it changes over, because what happens is it actually changes over to another battery, um, the recording will stop. So that might be something you need to note. I don't know if that's what happens with the original Fuji grip, um, but it definitely happens with um, this Mikey grip. So yeah, that's something to consider if you are doing long filming. Um, you better watch the battery level and sort of plan for when that battery is going to die. Um, the other issue is I don't know, I don't think you can select the battery you're going to use. So if one battery is getting low and you want to start a long sequence of recording, um, that could be a problem because you may, um, you know, you may run out because I don't think you can choose to use the full battery. <laughs> Um, maybe you could swap it in the chamber and it will pick the full one first in that case. I'm not sure. I don't know if it goes always in the order of um, the top battery than the bottom battery as it's displayed in the viewfinder. Um, yeah, that might be a workaround for that. But apart from that, I don't think there's a way of actually like prioritizing to use the fuller battery, if that's such a word. Yeah, so um, yeah, apart from that, the grip works fine. Um, I didn't use any of the buttons on the grip, probably because I don't have any 
um, you know, muscle memory of any of these buttons on the grips because I'm not used to using them. So I didn't find I used, all I used really was the boost, there's a boost switch, boost and normal. So um, that was useful when I wanted to put it onto boost. And yeah, basically I had no issues with running out of batteries. I had plenty of power the whole day. I was able to charge the grip in my vehicle when I was driving between um, different venues which is really good because I can, I've got like a, I think it's a 2 amp or 2.4 amp USB charger in my car and then I can just plug the lead, the little um, USB connection, the D, I think it's a D sub connection name of it, I'm not sure of the name. Anyway, that that is to charge in, uh, to plug in a charging lead, sorry. And um, yeah, that makes it really um, handy you can charge up your batteries um, while you're driving along or if you have a you know a portable um, battery you can plug that into it when the camera's off not the um and charge it up please note that you cannot charge the batteries while it's on and you cannot power the camera through that usb connection so that's something to make note of but apart from that uh, I don't think there's anything else to note other than that the grip is really good. It's not come loose or become worn, you know, after a full 12 hours of use it hasn't sort of, you know, become a bit of plain or anything. It's still tight, still good. Um, I would recommend it um, for the X-T2 if you got one. Um, it makes it quite good to use. I didn't use the vertical button. I found that Every time I flipped it over, the strap was sort of hanging across the camera and I would never be able to, I could never sort of, my finger just didn't fall onto that button. Probably, um, again, I haven't used the grip enough and the muscle memory is not there to, you know, sort of go to that button straight away and press the shutter release on the vertical. Um, so yeah, that was a bit of, sometimes I did try to find it and I couldn't, really fine I couldn't find it it's like it was in the wrong place or something so that was a bit annoying um, but I'm sure with use I will get used to finding that vertical release or perhaps if I had the strap off the camera uh, it would be easier to find it I'm pretty pretty sure it's because the strap sort of would drape across the button and I would sort of end up not going for it so that's just what just me anyway uh, and that's really all I have to say about the Mica Grip. I would recommend it and yeah, you can run free batteries in the X-T2. Um, changing between batteries, the recording will stop if you're doing video, something to note. Uh, you can charge with a USB cable into the grip, which is really handy. Charge both batteries at the same time. Um, little LED lights come on and show you that it's charging. So it's really good for that. I haven't used the grip, the remote control function or anything yet, um, but I'm sure that would work fine. And that's probably just a quick little sum up of my use of the Mikey battery grip for the Fujifilm X-T2. I would definitely recommend it over getting the very expensive Fujifilm version. Um, perhaps the long longevity of this grip will be less, but I'm not sure. It seems pretty good quality and um, that's it for now and I'll catch you later. Bye.